Good afternoon, everyone. Ross here with Kerry Drew and Pigstand Barbecue Sauce. Uh, I wanted to show, share something real quick with you since Memorial Day's uh, coming up this weekend. I'm sure a lot of people have the day off on Monday, long weekend. There's going to be a lot of barbecuing being done. And so I wanted to show you one of my favorite uh, barbecues, one of my favorite cuts of meat to barbecue, and that is a Boston butt pork steak. These pork steaks are cut out of a Boston butt roast, a bone-in Boston butt roast. You can see that there's a bone here. And I find that the bone helps give it a lot of flavor. Also, it's a very tender cut of meat. Uh, in Ville Platte, this is what was always on a barbecue plate lunch, either a pork steak or a half a chicken. So what we're gonna do today, uh, I seasoned these up already with our queen bee seasoning. Uh, just seasoned it, sprinkled it on both sides. And then we're going to barbecue them using our pig stand basting sauce. And you can use either our pig stand original or our pig stand hot barbecue sauce. For my own taste, I'm going to use the hot. Remember, the hot isn't very hot. It's not real spicy. It's just not quite as sweet. It's just a little more well seasoned than our original. But uh, this one is one of my favorites to use whenever I'm barbecuing a pork steak or if we're doing half a chicken on a barbecue pit. So we'll be right back. I'm going to show you how I'm going to put them on the barbecue pit. Alright guys, so my uh, Boston butts have been cooking for right around 10 minutes and I try not to flip them too often. I like to get them good and cooked, but I do flip them every once in a while to make sure they cook evenly. Every time that I flip them over, what I do is I take our pig stand Cajun barbecue basting sauce and I spray a little bit on each one of them. Uh, on the nozzle you'll see that there's a stream option and then there's a spray option. If there's if you have barbecue, a large barbecue pit and the meat's further in the back, you may want to use this, the stream option. But I, I usually use the spray, especially on a small pit like this. But I'll just show you, I flip each one of them over and I'm going to spray each one of them down. And with the basting sauce being in this bottle, you have a lot less waste. Rather than having to use a mop or anything, you can spray directly onto your barbecue and you're adding that pig stand barbecue sauce flavor while you're cooking and it also helps to keep your meat from drying out it'll keep it moist each time that you flip it so we're gonna let these cook and let them finish up so that way I can put the barbecue sauce on them alright guys so my pork steaks are now finished cooking what I have here is a pan uh, lined with foil and what I want to do is I'm going to take my pig stand barbecue sauce I'm gonna put some barbecue sauce on the top of each one of these pork steaks. I'm gonna brush that on to that side. Then I'm gonna start pulling each one of these off with putting the sauce side down. I'm gonna put a little bit of barbecue sauce on the top side, the, so the side that didn't have any. Brush that on well. And I'm gonna take each one of these off. And what I'm looking to do is stack them and add barbecue sauce to each one of them. Then what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna wrap these up real tight and I'm gonna place them in an ice chest. You can put them in a regular styrofoam ice chest or um, just even a small ice chest. They'll be wrapped in foil so the sauce won't get all over your, uh, your ice chest. But I'm going to let these sit for about 15 to 20 minutes. What that does is it allows the, uh, the flavor of the sauce to get into the meat even more. It allows the meat to tenderize a little while and uh, it makes them really, really flavorful if you allow them to sit for a little while. I like to put them in an ice chest because it keeps the meat warm. Uh, you can also stick them in the oven if you need without, with the oven being off, not turning the oven on. But I find the ice chest just keeps the heat in a little bit better. So I'm gonna take the, the last one off. I'm gonna fold this over, wrap it up real tight, and I'm gonna let it sit in the ice chest for 15 to 20 minutes. All right guys, so our barbecue pork steaks are all finished, but I'm gonna go ahead and recap what we did today. I started out with um, pork, Boston butt pork steaks uh, that were cut off of a Boston butt roast. They're bone in, and what I did is I went ahead and seasoned each one of them up with our queen bee seasoning. Then I put them on the barbecue pit and uh, while they were cooking I turned them over every once in a while just to make sure that they cooked evenly. Every time that I flipped the steak over I went ahead and sprayed the top, the uh, part of the 
Boston butt that was closest to the fire. Whenever I flip it, I sprayed it with our pig stand Cajun barbecue basting sauce. And what that did is it made sure that uh, none of the steak dried out while it was cooking. Then once they were completely finished cooking, cooked through and through, I went ahead and I took, you can take either our pig stand original barbecue sauce or you can take our pig stand hot. Today I chose to use the hot. And I put barbecue sauce on the top of each one of the steaks while they're still on the pit and brushed that on. Then I took a pan with foil, lined with foil, and I stacked each one of the uh, pork steaks while applying barbecue sauce to the side that didn't have any. Then I wrapped uh, all those steaks up in foil, put them in an ice chest, and let them sit for 15 to 20 minutes. You can let them sit longer if you need, if you're not quite ready to eat, but you just want to keep in mind that they will start to cool down over time. The ice chest helps to keep that heat in but they, uh, they will marinate with the barbecue sauce and give you that great flavor. So I'm gonna go ahead and open up the foil and pull out one of the pork steaks. And there it is right there. You have plenty of barbecue sauce on it. You can also put some on the side on your plate to go ahead and uh, dip the meat in if you'd like a little bit more. I know there are different ways that people barbecue uh, pork steaks. This is just my favorite method. This is how I learned to cook from my dad who learned from my grandfather. And I hope you really enjoy this recipe. Go ahead and leave me a comment with what you're cooking this weekend. I know this weekend is going to be a long weekend, Memorial Day weekend. So I hope you enjoy it. I hope we have some nice weather, They're calling for rain. But I hope you have a great day and I appreciate you watching today. Thank you.